Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to solve CFI Day 3 finance topics. Specifically, we're going to talk about buy versus lease and cash flow analysis. Please note that these are going to be from actual CFI questions, but I've tried to block out the names of the company to not reveal too much about the cases. So now let's go into a buy or lease example. It says, finally, ABC Inc. is considering acquiring new automated installation equipment to improve her division's performance. And William would like to know your thoughts on the proposal, Appendix V. Ignore any tax or financial reporting implications for now. So we see in Appendix V, it says, Specialized equipment is used to remove old windows and install new ones. The new equipment will cost $1.5 million if purchased. It is expected to last 12 years with a salvage value of $60,000 at that time. Beth estimates the annual incremental net cash inflow from using the new equipment will be approximately $265,000 before taxes. ABC weighted average cost of capital is 12%. The vendor of the new equipment provides three options. ABC can either A. Purchase the equipment outright. B. Finance the purchase cost with the vendor over 12 years, which would result in an annual payment of $150,000. Or C. Lease the equipment for an annual cost of $250,000 and the lease would only be for one year with an option to renew with the same terms for additional one year periods. The lease option provides for maintenance and repairs of the equipment at no charge to ABC Inc. So now let's look at how to solve it. And we start with trying to figure out if this machine is actually going to be profitable for us before we go into how to actually buy this asset. So we take the initial investment of $1.5 million and then we do a present value of the net cash flows and then the present value of the salvage value. Then this gives us an NPV of about 156K. So in conclusion, as we know that this machine is going to be profitable for us, now let's look at the financing options. If anyone wanted to figure out how I did my present value calculations, I've put down my Excel formulas at the bottom of the slide. So now let's compare the three financing options. What I like to do is to create a chart to compare three of them on the similar basis. So normally I'd compare them on the cost and then some qualitative factors as well. So for the first option, it's just to purchase the equipment outright. So the upfront cost is going to be $1.5 million. And the qualitative aspect would be that it's a large upfront cash investment. The next option is to finance the purchase over 12 years. And the cost of this would be $150,000 annually. If you tried to calculate the IRR, it becomes 3%, which is actually a lot lower than the average cost of capital for your company currently, which is at 12%. If you're not sure how I calculated the IRR, I put in the Excel formula on the slide, but if you want me to do a video just to explain how to calculate it, please let me know in the comments below. From a qualitative perspective, we would talk about how this option might require further approval from the bank. For option three, this is to lease the equipment on a one-year lease continuously. The cost of this would be $250,000, which is the most expensive option. However, it does come with the benefit that there is no extra service or maintenance costs. It also allows you the flexibility to adapt new technology when it becomes available. So to conclude on this overall problem, I would recommend ABC to purchase the equipment because it has a positive NPV. Based on the financing options provided, you should obtain the funds from the bank as the IRR is lower than your current weighted average cost of capital, and you will not need to overpay for the product or provide a large initial cash investment. So now let's do an example where you have to provide a cash flow analysis. So in this example, it says that Jacob received an unsolicited proposal from RSS, a high-end clothing retailer. SGF would buy excess clothing from RSS at a reduced price and sell them in their stores. See Appendix 3. He asks you to determine the amount of outside financing required to cover the monthly cash requirement of the first six months of the RSS initiative. He would also like you to discuss the strategic fit and other decision factors that should be considered. So this is what it says in Appendix 3. RSS is offering to sell its unsold high-end clothing to SGF at the end of each season for 15% of the retail price, which RSS estimates would cost SGF a total of $120,000 annually. All sales would be final, with payment due 15 days from delivery. RSS estimates that SGF can resell the clothing for 30% of the retail price, that purchases would be made once every quarter, and that sales would be spread over the three months after delivery, with an estimated 5% never being sold. 
Protecting these items from theft will require either hiring a security guard for $2,500 per month or installing a security tag system that would cost $20,000 up front and would last for three years. Otherwise, shoplifting losses would average 25% of the selling price of the clothes in the store. The clothing would also require special racks that would cost $1,600 up front and would last for two years, and SGF's insurance would increase by $200 per month. So now let's look at the cash flow analysis that needs to be done. So you'll first start with month zero with all the cash that you have to provide, which would be $30,000 to buy the clothes, $20,000 for the security system, and $1,600 for the racks. Then you'll continue the cash flow analysis for six months. To determine which security system to use in our cash flow analysis, please see note two, where we determined the cost of all the three options and then picked the one that cost the least. To determine the monthly sales, please see note one, where we calculated how much money we would be getting on all the sales and then subtracting the unsellable amount. Once we determined all the cash inflows and outflows, we totaled them up for each month and then also have a cumulative total of how much cash the company will have as each month progresses. Because I didn't have enough space on the last slide to put a purpose statement, I'm writing it here. But normally you would include this with your Excel. So my purpose statement is that I wanted to determine the cash requirements at the end of each month when purchasing clothes from RSS. And the conclusion of this analysis is that there will be a large upfront cost of 51,000 for the inventory, security, and racks. However, there will be a positive cash flow in the following three months. In the fourth month, there will be a negative cash outflow of $11,200 but only $6,400 is needed to be financed because you would have built up a cash reserve of $4,800 from the previous months. Then in the fifth month, the company will have a positive cash flow going forward. In addition, the security system for $6,667 annually is the most economical. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully this helped you understand how to solve the buy versus lease questions and cash flow analysis. I also review other day three topics so be sure to check out those videos as well. If you like what you saw, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below.